Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of uh, oil and natural gas. Uh, we'll jump in there, I'll give you my financial opinion and let's let the charts do the talking. So I drew in this resistance line a while back. I said, I think we could get to $92. We'll probably put a little wick at the top, which we did. Uh, and now we're selling off a little bit. We do have a wick at the bottom. Uh, the wick at the bottom usually means you get a little bit of mo upward momentum. If this was a longer wick, I would be more bullish. But we had a down day today, and you know it's been a while since we've had you know a two percent down day in in crude oil. I mean, this has been a pretty easy run higher. Uh, but we're hitting our head on it. We maybe come on back, and then we'll, maybe we'll attack it again. We'll see where we go from here. Uh, but we had a down day. Uh, natural gas, a smaller down day, coming to support. Uh, the support area is it's right at the it's our top uh, support line. Uh, so we basically broke out. We're doing a retest. What I suspect to happen is that we're going to be sitting on uh, uh, if we can sit on top of this for the summer. Um, that's going to be a huge launching pad for for next winter or summer. Uh, I know in summer months, sometimes the summer months that goes up a little bit too. Uh, if it's since it's being used for generation of of electricity. Uh, but a lot of the times we're coming into the seasonal weakness and the most strong periods like the November-ish time frame, October, November time frame, uh, the run up before the winter. So we might have a little bit of a relaxation period before uh, another move higher. XOP getting a little bit of a sell off today. We still have a little bit of a wick at the bottom. Uh, it's not a reversal candlestick, so I still think it looks good. Uh, we just got to see where this thing plays out. Uh, we're between a couple of resistance line there and a support line right underneath it. So, um, yeah, this thing looks good for a for a big move higher eventually because we've got the big long-term trend line broken. SM Energy, uh, getting a little bit of a wick at the top for the monthlies. The dailies will have a down day today, uh, down 4.54%. Uh, SM Energy is my largest position. Uh, again, a little bit of a, of a sell-off. We've got support underneath it. Uh, I figured that we're probably going to roll back down here uh, with this wick at the top. So we're coming back and hopefully we can find some support here uh, right right underneath it, you know, maybe a dollar below it or, or soon. Uh, Centennial Resource Development, we got the wick at the top. We're kind of pulling back here, little wicks at the bottom. Um, so it's not just a total blowout, like a bunch of sellers are just selling this thing off. Uh, so it still looks okay. Everything looks okay. Everything looks intact. Um, we're just waiting for oil to go higher now. Uh, it's just resting. It's resting for another uh, cheetah run higher, hopefully. Uh, this one's Crew Energy, CWEGF, another one that I like. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a sell-off today. Uh, this could continue. It's, it finished quite strong. We've got support underneath it, right where, right where I've got it. Um, so that's at 250. I'd probably put in a buy order if you can try to get it, uh, depending on what it looks like. Uh, CPE, Callum Petroleum, getting a little bit of a sell-off today. I mean, it's as expected with oil selling off, uh, we're just chopping sideways with uh, Callum Petroleum. Looking at Athabasca oil, getting a little bit of a sell-off for uh, supports right at about a buck. So we might we might retest that. Uh, it's, it finished quite strong. Recaf getting a little bit of a sell-off today as well. We've got a nice good long-term support line uh, underneath it here. Uh, so we're coming right to that support. Northern oil and gas getting a little bit of a sell-off here. Um, yeah, good, good little strong sell off here. Oh, we could draw this like that, depending on how you draw this. Yeah, however, you want to draw it, a little sell off there. Actually, I'm going to take this thing out of here. A little wick at the bottom. We'll see where this thing goes tomorrow. Uh, cr this one is Crescent Point, Crescent Point Group CPG. Uh, Crescent Point Energy, a little bit of a sell-off. We're right at that resistance line where I've got that white uh, line drawn across here. We've got a lot of trading, previous trading here, so it's hitting its head on it. A little bit of resistance. Grantier Energy, GTE. Uh, this one's got a breakout. We could do a retest. We could retest back here and then get our butt moving. But this one looks really good. It broke to the upside. I would be holding on to that bad boy. Uh, Tellurian. Uh, it's just bouncing sideways. Not really a huge up day or down day today. Uh, Pedevgo getting a little bit of a sell-off, just like the rest of the group. 
uh, Oasis OAS. That this is getting a sell off. I think we got support. Hopefully, we got support coming underneath this thing. If it can show up here, there we go. Uh, we're breaking down a little bit below support, so we're, we've got the next support line coming up underneath it here. CRK getting a little bit of a sell off. This is Comstock Resources. I'd be a buyer down here uh, in this support region down here. I like it down there. Um, Sandridge Energy bouncing off this resistance line back a little bit. I mean, this is all pretty much as expected with oil coming back. Uh, this could head lower. Um, I could head a little bit lower there, Sandridge. We could have a better buying opportunity. Some of these, we're going to be getting into some good buying opportunities, guys. Um, this is a retest for Ring Energy. I can't grab the ring. Uh, breakout, retest, and we'll see if this holds and goes higher. Uh, surge Energy, moving on lower. Uh, we're right at the support line underneath, underneath it, basically. Right at support of, of this, this line going across. We'll see if that holds. Uh, and then we've got Tamarack Valley Energy. It is broken out of its big long-term pattern. We could see a return move. A little bit of resting and then a, a, another surge higher uh, later on. OIH, man, we're just got kind of a what I'm seeing here is that type of of kind of squeezing up. It could it could drop out of here depending on what oil does to the downside. Do kind of a return move. TTI is moving to the down downward, so this might see a little bit lower. Uh, pricing action here. It's it's in a pullback at the moment, a little bit larger pullback. Uh, Transocean, it's bouncing its head off resistance and it is selling off a little bit today. Uh, getting the pump on, looks like this could potentially head lower. This is a, that's eh, not really a bearish engulfing. It's close, but I, I would suspect that this would head a little bit lower, probably do a return move for pump. Uh, EXTN, it's still looking good, just a sideways type motion. Uh, Valeris Limited getting a little bit of a sell off. It's could you know, got support under here. MRM still looking strong. MMA. Uh, this thing looks great to continue higher. It looks really good. Um, will it continue higher? We'll we'll see, guys. I mean, if the entire sector in oil is pulling back, I don't know how long this is going to do the opposite. But this looks like a really good. This looks really good, actually. I like M the MMA offshore. Looks really good. I'd be a buyer here right now. Uh, Tidewater getting a little bit of a sell-off. It's a bearish engulfing. Uh, we do have a wick at the bottom. We'll see where this thing goes. It could come all the way back and do a, a full retest move. Uh, it might come up and then come back down, but uh, we'll see where that goes. And I don't, I'm not selling any of these guys. I own all these. Uh, NEX, nice good move higher. Kind of a sideways day. I would, I think this would continue higher if, if uh, oil were to move up. This This one still looks good. Uh, same with uh, Champion X Corporation, CHX. This still looks good to move on up if oil uh, cooperates. Cactus Incorporated moving sideways still looks good. Uh, OII, Ocean, uh, Oceaneering. If it comes on up. Come on, OII. Ah, this one's got a ascending wedge pattern. This could break to the downside and rest for a little bit. Uh, Noble Energy. This is a kind of an offshore drilling company. Uh, this guy's still moving sideways, larger buying pressure than selling pressure, so it still looks good. And then Helix Energy Solutions has been right up on uh, resistance line, and it's pulling back in its uh, upward channel. So uh, that's what we've got for the oil and nat natural gas area. I mean, oil's down. It's expected that most of the companies are, are pulling back. Uh, we haven't had a pullback in oil for you know, a little, a little while. So it, it's expected. It, it moves up in, in impulse moves. It has an impulse move higher, consolidates. Impulse move higher, consolidates. So we just have to be patient. Uh, I'm not selling anything. I'm just holding on. I'm just watching what's going on. Uh, we kind of knew that we were going to hit this resistance area at 92 something dollars. How far back is this going to pull? I'm not exactly sure. And in all honesty, I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm going to ride through it no matter what. That's my my take. And, you know, a lot of people, they're going to get themselves all worked up about the short-term movements. And I, I, for some reason, I just block everything out. If 
if I lose 25% of my overall total portfolio, um, I just ride through it. And other people, well, you could you could save the 25%, you know, and, and sell out and do this. It's like, yeah, just just wait until you get stuck out and and the market moves in the opposite direction that that you think. And it moves big. Maybe maybe some of these companies go 10, 20% in a day. You're out of it, and and it could happen in one day, and that's the 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 original move, and then it takes off. Um, a lot of the times what the market will do is it'll give you that 20% up day and then it'll whipsaw you back and forth, get you to trade in and out where you lose copious amounts of money. Um, not this guy. I don't lose copious amounts of money anymore. I stay with it. Looks good. Big long-term trends are breaking. Hold on. Let the big trend um, carry you higher. Uh, it's easy floating downstream. Really hard to start timing things uh, if the stream gets moving really fast. Just stay in the middle of the stream. Let it take you where it's going to take you. Uh, and, and if the valuations are good, if the market conditions are good, my hands are off. I'm not touching these things. Thumbs up for the, for the content. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.